Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. This is Wangele Voice TV. I want to talk about Ike Ikuremadu. Ikuremadu spent 20 years in the Senate and was Senate Deputy President for 16 years. His daughter has kidney problem. But this man has two sons and two daughters. Why didn't he use the kidney of one of his children for a transplant? Rather, he went to the street and picked up a 15-year-old boy and packaged him to England for the transplant. I was meant to understand that biologically it will fit if he uses the kidney of one of his children. This shows you the kind of leaders we have. This shows you how inhuman and mean our leaders in PDP and APC are. They don't care about the youth. They don't think about the youth. What they think is about their own. This 15 year old boy could have been whiskey, could have been Davido, could have been Flavor, could have been Okocha. Could have been Kalon Wanko, could have been Chris Daniel, whose booger is trending all over the world. President dance it, wife of President dance it, everybody. And they have made mega money from their music. These celebrities are also contributing to the economic growth of Nigeria. If these celebrities were subjected to the condition this 15 year old boy was meant to be subjected, do you think they would have made it? Definitely no. Because it will affect their self worth, their morale, and the confidence they have in themselves. That is what Ekweremadu would have done to this boy that he was meant to lead. So, my advice for Kweremadu is to face the music. He has to face the music. I don't pity him. Kweremadu has the guts and audacity to say that some evils for P2B is a waste. That P2B is not dynamic. He doesn't even know what dynamism is all about. It takes a dynamic person to be very successful in international business. P2P was in business, was a big player in the business world who accomplished everything, became a billionaire before he entered politics. The Premier did not get shishi. Kobe did not get. He entered Senate and he made all his money. And he has the guts, the effrontery, to say that Peter is not dynamic. My advice to the youths and Nigerians in general, is to vote for P2B. Get your PVC. If you want Nigerian to move up, to move up. if you want your destiny to be restored, vote for P2B. That's my advice. The grandmother's daughter is no more golden than other children in the street. The grandmother's daughter is not more angelic than other children in the street. So it takes a selfish man and wicked person to do this. They say best of the same feather flock together. So they're all the same in PDP. This is just a tip of the iceberg of how, they, how our leaders are. That's it. They say they should spare the wife. No. They say behind every successful man, there's a woman. When the Kuremadu came to discuss this plan with the wife, I expected the wife to say, no, I'm a mother. That child has a mother too. But they connived and did it together. So I don't pity him. The Kuremadu is an embarrassment to Ndibu, embarrassment to PDP, and embarrassment to Nigeria in general. Let him face the music. That's my take on this. Please, Share this video and follow Wangele Voice TV.
Thank you very much.